Hello, Jean and Blake from Brampton, Ontario. Michael Posnick here, Century 21. Thank you so much for your email inquiring with your super question about how do you move from Ontario to PEI. It's a really good question and I've done it myself having moved from Ontario in 1997. In fact, for the last three, three and a half years, the vast majority of our buyers are from Ontario, mainly Southern Ontario and Ottawa. So we welcome you to the island and uh, look forward to having you become part of the, the family here on the island. Great place to live, don't regret it, been here over 21 years, you know, it's a reversible move. If you don't like it, you can always move back. Back when I moved here, I indicated that uh, as long as I had a fax machine and a phone, I could do business from anywhere on the planet. Well, fax machines now are a thing of the past, and now we use cell phones. So, as far as moving to PEI from another province, you don't have to worry about immigration issues. If you are moving here from somewhere else, a lot of people just think they can just get up and move from anywhere on the planet and establish residence here. That's probably not the case. So I assume you have Canadian uh, residency, which is great. The next issue is how do you find a house? You indicated you're looking in a certain part of PEI. The great thing is we do have a system called Paragon that will allow you to have your agent set up a real-time search. So how this works is you indicate to that agent the area you're looking at. In your case, it's a pretty uh, obvious area. It's a city. So we just put that city in, we put active, and then we, if you want optionally, we can include bathrooms, bedrooms, price range. Most people will just put in three bedrooms and a price range. So I'd advise you to get that search set up right away. You'll no longer have to talk to anybody, have to go to websites, realtor.ca, because anything that fits within the confines of that search will be automatically sent to you. In your case, since you're looking at a city that's relatively small, I would just set up a search for three bedrooms. I indicate three bedrooms because two bedroom houses are hard to sell. Of course, one bedrooms are even worse. But I'm always thinking of the exit strategy when I go to sell. Not, it's easy to buy. It's you know sometimes a challenge to sell. So set up, set up the whole city. Uh, talk to your agent about what price point you should expect to be at. Set that as your upper limit so you're not getting uh, millions or thousands of listings. You're not going to get that anywhere in PEI. Uh, and get that set up right away. So that's the first step. The second step would be if you happen to see something that you like, and you want to make an offer on it, assuming you're going to come here and see it or you're going to buy sight unseen, which happens a lot of times with, with my clients, believe it or not, even though some agents think it's impossible. It all comes down to your level of comfort. Uh, regardless of all that, so you're writing an offer. The challenge now is it is a seller's market. So if the property is priced right and marketed properly, chances are they're going to have offers coming in and assuming the price isn't, you know, five, six, eight hundred thousand dollars, which is hard to move in PEI. Uh, so with a seller's market, your challenge is going to be you're writing an offer on a property that may be contingent of the sale of your house in Ontario. And having dealt with tons of people from other places, they all think their house is going to sell in three days. Regardless of that, the vendor's standpoint is going to be why would I take an offer for someone from someone in Ontario that has a house to sell, regardless of how long it's going to sell take to sell when I have a second offer that's a cash offer with no conditions, which again does happen. So my recommendation if you're comfortable in doing this is establish bridge financing. So bridge financing would give you the ability to buy that house but not have it contingent on selling your house in Ontario. If you don't feel comfortable with that, don't do it, but you are going to uh, limit the effectiveness of your offer if it's contingent on another house selling. If this was a buyer's market, it would be the opposite. It probably wouldn't matter much because they'd be desperate to sell their house. Next step I got into was moving. How do I move my stuff? Assuming you're not selling it all or auctioning it off. I called some local companies and the quotes are into the thousands of dollars and I thought I'm going to do this backwards. I figured there's got to be an empty truck coming back from uh, Ontario to PEI. So I found a number of moving companies and I asked them if they had any trucks coming to PEI full and returning empty and I actually found one and they moved my whole house for $800 which 
today, I mean, some people are paying seven, eight thousand. So that was excellent savings. I would have a PEI moving company move you back when they have an empty truck because you're going to save yourself a ton of money. So other than that, that's about it. If you have any other questions, email me. But um, yeah, get that search set up. Uh, talk to your banker about bridge financing or if you can even get bridge financing and moving companies. Everything else is pretty simple. As long as you always think about your exit strategy from a property, you're never going to be locked into PEI because you'll have a piece of real estate you can actually sell. Have a great day. Thanks for checking in. Do you have a question about PEI real estate or Prince Edward Island in general? Put it in the form below and I'll get back to you right away.